Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here with yet again another video on my favorite thing in the whole world. God damn cryptocurrency, that's right. And today we've got a bit of a different video. I'm going to show you how to protect your cryptocurrency, right? Even if you have a MetaMask with a seed phrase and it's already running, did you know that you can actually migrate that into a hardware wallet? It's exactly what I did. I have a bunch of drip faucet accounts they were on my metamask on my computer i thought there was a couple months back i thought this has gone too far there's too many funds in here i need to move it into something more secure so i took my metamask all five wallets on this account and i migrated it into this ledger so i'm going to show you how to do this first we're going to talk about why you should do this right um the thing about drip is that your deposits are locked once you put them in um the majority of drip is locked either inside the faucet contract it's also locked inside the manor farms garden contract here the drip uh, drip gardener if you by accident or through naivety give away your seed phrase or you click on the wrong kind of site and someone hacks your computer and finds your seed phrase once they know it is almost now on impossible for you to be able to get anything back okay he will have access or she will have access to your funds will be able to drain everything that will be able to take all your tokens out yeah withdraw from it any farm that's withdrawable from and of course be able to get into your drip faucet every single day and claim as much as they want so how to begin first even without having a, a ledger nano s we can protect ourselves in some very quick ways here if you come to your um, metamask click on these three dots we will see here connected sites Whenever you are not using a site, you can simply come to that site, click on the bin, it will disconnect you from the site. You're not, it's not forgetting any kind of information, it just means that when you go back to that site, you have to sign in again. A minor inconvenience, not even a gas fee, okay? So you should be cleaning up your wallet about once every few days, just to make sure you're not connected to anything that could be malicious in the future. Secondly, if you do go to something like the bank, and we're talking mostly about drip here to bank is a fantastic way of taking away approval for any smart contracts that you have approved so for example on the bank here i typed in bsc i put in drip I connected to my wallet and it came up with what am i connected to with drip three unknown projects which are linked to the drip faucet the drip reservoir okay these are fine i've checked them and pancake swap because if i want to buy and sell drip on pancake swap this is all you should have connected to drip okay when you type drip into the bank. You can go through the bank and take out any approvals for any other sites that you might not be using anymore. Or if you don't trust them anymore, you could disapprove them. You just go here to decline that and then you are good to go safer than you were before. To decline these, you need to pay a small um, part of gas on the Binance Smart Chain. You're gonna be paying $0.7. $0.7 is a very cheap price to pay for security. Okay, so regularly, about once a week, I do, I do go through the bank um, and I just decline any kind of approvals that I don't need anymore. When I do want to use that site again, means I have to pay that gas fee to approve their themselves for transaction with them once again. Again, a very small price to pay. On Telegram, <laughs> this is something we really need to talk about. On Telegram, there are people... Um, who are impersonating myself, impersonating other project leaders, impersonating other YouTubers, and asking you for seed phrases, asking you for information on your account. Never give anything to someone who's asking these kind of questions. Please don't be that naive. They're just trying to steal your money. There's no such thing as free money. If someone says you give them tokens, they're going to give you back three times as many. That's not going to happen. They're going to steal your tokens. Don't give them seed phrase. Don't give them the opportunity to hack you, right? This is etiquette on Telegram. I have three sections. I have all chats, which has all my chats. I generally don't answer many of these. I look through them about once a week because a lot of them are just people trying to scam me. Then I have a section for farms, which is about the farms I want to do, and one for clients. If I find someone in my all chats who is nice and I'm chatting to them, I'll move them into one of these other folders so that we can find each other easier. But that's the danger of Telegram there. It's a very useful tool, but it's swimming with sharks. So you need to be careful there also to protect your drip. Okay, so with all that said, then we get into how to um, deal with this Ledger Nano and with our MetaMask and get the final piece of security in the puzzle. So what I did was I set up here, this thing here, dead wallet, right? So my dead wallet is exactly that. If I go into the bank, I have zero BNB in here. I have nothing going on here, right? 
What is it doing? It's setting up as kind of like a shield because my computer remembers the seed phrase for dead wallet. My computer has no memory of the seed phrase for any of these because that seed phrase has been put into my ledger. That is the shield which I've set up. It's very smart, it's great, let's get it done. So for this, you're gonna need a ledger, you're gonna need MetaMask, you're gonna need to already be using your MetaMask, okay? And have a seed phrase for that written down somewhere. Then what we do, we need to download Ledger Live, set it up with the Ethereum network. Here we have it here, installed Ethereum here, right? I'm also gonna be showing this video that I've taken from someone who made an Axiom video. It's extremely useful. You can also just go and watch that one. That's what I used, but you know, keep watching, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> but I'm gonna be using it, that, one, that one in the bottom. So first choose your pin code and then put in that seed phrase from your current MetaMask, the one that you're running your Drip account on, okay? To do that, you either, hopefully you've written it down somewhere. I have a giant book full of seed phrases off at Safe, which also has my seed phrases in there. And, you know, you can find it if you do lose it or there's a fire, knock on wood, there's no fires. But if they do, then you can actually find it inside uh, your MetaMask. To find your seed phrase, you go to security and privacy, then it will have here reveal secret recovery phrase. I will not be showing you. <laughs> so first you'll choose a pin code, put that one in. Then you will choose a 12 word phrase for your MetaMask. So grab your seed phrase from your existing MetaMask and put that into this ledger. It should say your device is now ready. Next, go to Ledger Live, as I said, and install the Ethereum app. After that, go to your MetaMask and click to connect to a hardware wallet. Make sure, of course, remember that Ledger Live is turned on on your MetaMask. You can do that in the advanced section of your MetaMask by going to MetaMask, yeah, settings, advanced, here, Ledger Live, yeah, preferred Ledger connection type. Make sure that's on. Ledger Live will ask to open a bridge when you click on Connect Harbor Wallet and bring you to a MetaMask site. But if you, when you go to this site, you're gonna see that you only have your first wallet and all your other wallets that you've created under that, you know, as we do, we create more wallets under the same seed phrase, they will not appear. We need to try and find them. So what we'll do is we will go to cannot see them and then change it to BIP44 MetaMask, okay? Click save, then all your wallets will appear. You've now checked that you have all your wallets. So you found all your wallets, now you need to remove MetaMask from your computer. This will mean that if anyone tries to hack you, they will not be able to find your seed phrase for your um, for your Drip Faucet account. So to remove it, we come up here to our pins, we'll have here MetaMask, click on this, then it will say uh, remove from Brave or remove from Firefox. That will mean that you've now disconnected from it. If you wanna use it again, you're gonna have to find your seed phrase, put that in. So of course, remember your seed phrase, don't lose it. <laughs> but we're not gonna be putting that seed phrase again into this computer ever because we want to be secure. So then we go back, okay? We need to get the correct site. We don't wanna get fished or anything. So we go to metamask.io and we are going to reinstall your MetaMask this time. So we're gonna reinstall it. Then we'll ask you, do you want to put in your seed phrase or do you want to create a new wallet? This time what you wanna do is create a new wallet. You can then rename your wallet. For example, I called it dead wallet. You could also call it shield so that you know what it's for, this one here, because nothing happens in here. It's dead, it's a shield, it's protecting me, okay? Then you will come again to connect to hardware wallet, um, making sure once again that in your advanced settings that um, the Ledger Life slide is ticked on, okay? Come and then click on connect to hardware wallet. Open the bridge, then it will pop up again on your Ledger Live saying that it wants to connect a bridge to, to your ledger, to your MetaMask wallet, that's fine. And then again, once again, we'll come back to that MetaMask site where your accounts will appear again. And once again, only your first wallet will be, will be there. So you have to go to that, I can't see my wallets. Then you need to click again on the BIP44 HD path and boom, all your accounts will show. Click them all, unlock them, and now you're set up. Now your MetaMask will have one shield or dead wallet at the front and we'll have all your other funds connected to your ledger. So every time now that you make a transaction, it will first make sure that your ledger live is connected to the bridge. Okay, it will check about that. And then it will ask you to input the password that you set up at the very initial stages. If you forget your password on this, you will have to put in the seed phrase from your drip account, okay? But your computer is only linked to this 
dead wallet in the first one. If someone does hack your computer and attempt to steal your seed phrase, they're only getting a seed phrase for this wallet, which is in no way connected to my other ones. These are on a different seed phrase to this one. Also very important, once you have done that, you will need to make sure that the blind signing is enabled on your MetaMask. This is how you do that there. There's a quick video of someone doing it over there. You can also Google that. It's not rocket science. Kind of is, but it's not. Hope that helped. Be good out there. Stay safe. Don't get wrecked.